Good afternoon, everyone. Record sea ice concentrations across Antarctica are going to yield an enormous amount of icebergs on breakup this year. Let's take a look at the Antarctic circumpolar currents and find out this year where those icebergs are going to end up. You don't need a crystal ball to do this. All you have to do is look back at the little ice age construction when Captain Cook was exploring the southern oceans. As well as right now with the record cold across New Zealand and Australia, you can imagine that the water and the temperatures will be cooler, allowing those icebergs to float further. This is the second year in a row where record sea ice has formed and is continuing to form in Antarctica. With the additional 1.8 million square kilometers of sea ice this year, I personally believe that this year when it does break up, we're going to start to see icebergs in areas that have not been seen or are extremely rare. The Antarctic circumpolar current pulls and pushes in different ways depending on which side of Antarctica you're on. If we take a look back at a temperature reconstruction of the Little Ice Age between South America and South Africa, you notice it remains incredibly cold through that area. We're repeating the cycle again. It's going to remain colder in that area this year. Upon breakup, that ice is going to drift and stay cooler in both the air and water temperatures, which will allow those icebergs to exist for weeks longer, which will allow them to get to further north destinations. Let's look back in history. Captain Cook in 1771, 1773, 1775 during that second exploration had frequent iceberg sightings. Now this was during the height of the Maunder Minimum. I'm just using history, reading back through events that were cataloged and seeing the conditions that mimic or match what today's climate is doing. Captain Cook catalogs icebergs in the southern ocean i believe there will be some this year as well you know where they'll be heading toward the falkland islands 1992 they had some there also in 1988 buenos aires argentina had icebergs floating off the coast let's go back to south africa 2007 they had some as well these are the same locations that the ice will drift to this year it's very possible there could be something off southern new zealand with all these new massive polar lows going up Around that area in the southern oceans, conditions will remain cooler. There could be some unusual ice sightings there. Speaking of the record cold, these records are going back to the 1870s in New Zealand, although some of the newer records were set in 1992. Notice the match on that. The icebergs that were sighted off the Falkland Islands in 1992 also match with that old cold record of 1992 in New Zealand. We're following repeating cycles. Maunder minimum repeating. Dalton minimum repeating. We're just going into another cycle. Look for the signs yourself. Antarctic sea ice. If we go to the NSIDC website, you'll see that this year's sea ice extent is even higher than last year's record ice of all time. I pulled this out of the cryosphere. Comparing 2015 water temperatures in May, with 2009 water temperatures around New Zealand to see if there was a possibility of icebergs drifting up there this year. You might ask why I would say icebergs. Well, Cape Cod this year in March had giant icebergs wash ashore, and the last time that had occurred was in the 1700s around George Washington Revolutionary War times in the United States. And we had Captain Cook's voyage also around the same time in 1775. You see these two time frames of the late 1700s matching up with iceberg sightings. We're coming back to that same repeat cycle again. It seems we're starting to enter the definite 200-year cooling pattern right now. Continuing on with cooler water temperatures, Lake Superior still has ice. The light blue notes where the ice coverage still is on May 25th. And measuring water temperatures, notice that this year's mean temperature is below the normal temperature by approximately one to one and a half degrees celsius through the great lakes which in turn should allow the great lakes to start freezing next year even faster we're into that feedback loop right now and you've heard me say repeating cycles probably three or four times this video this is a perfect example of what i mean these grand solar minimums come on specific time loops and we're just into another one hope you got something out of the video that was useful when you do read iceberg drifts in the shipping lanes this year, understand why it's happening. 
The news is going to try to say that it's something with global warming is causing more ice to break off, and that's why there is iceberg happenings in the Southern Ocean. But that's not really true. It's There was extra record ice, and it's breaking off during the spring melt, and that will cause the icebergs. There's nothing to do with global warming, and don't be led by the media. That is an absolute lie. Going to try to put this out as a precursor story so when the event happens, it's a problem reaction solution. They know the icebergs are going to break off with record ice. They're going to have to try to explain it and they're going to keep pushing global warming. You know the real reason. Thanks for watching. Hope you got something out of the video. If you did and you like my channel, subscribe to Adapt 2030 and I'll keep the information stories coming to you.